Today's topic is about CDC's new COVID-19 metric measuring system. That's what we're gonna be discussing. Recently, as of March 4th, 2022, the CDC in conjunction with the Rhode Island Department of Health has made an announcement in reference to the new measuring system that they will be using for how they measure the Department of Health statistics in tracking COVID-19 and the severity of each of these categories. So that is now a new change that has taken place. Historically, for the last two years, the measuring system was based on individual people by population count of each day, how many average over a seven day period of who tested positive. And then they created their graph based on that, based on per capita 100,000 and so forth. Plus some other things such as hospitalization utilization in terms of the beds, occupancy and so forth. Now that the numbers have been receding, they are now using a different system instead of going by individual, they're going by community levels. So this community level system, people wanna know what this looks like. So basically all the states pertaining to each of the counties and each of the states in the United States is how they're gonna be doing this measuring system to determine whether it is low, medium or high. Rhode Island here, we have five counties. And if you look at the map, the five counties are as follows. We have Bristol, Bristol County. We have Kent County. We have Newport County. We have Providence County and Washington County. Those are the five counties that are in the state of Rhode Island. Now, in terms of the severity level, in terms of the five counties, not the number of individuals, but based on county, I'm going to show you a chart that gives you an example of how these numbers are determined, whether they are low, medium, or high. Low, medium, or high are related in terms of whether you should be wearing your mask or not wearing your mask, and so forth. That is the purpose of this measuring system. So if you look at the chart behind me, you notice that there are three colors here in the columns. Green, which means low, yellow, which means medium, and the orange, which means high. Now you see the, the blue box, those three boxes there, those are the numbers that they're using per 100,000 in the last seven days, and also how many admissions are taking place that are COVID related and looking at bed occupancy. So if you look at the red circle, they have determined that number of 200. So each county, if they are above 200 or less than 200, will determine the category of whether they are low, medium or high based upon a seven day average. So if it's less than 200, that would be fine. Now they're going to look at the other two number factors, which are the bed occupancy rates. And the three categories, are, if, for example, if it's less than 10, it's considered low. 10 to 14 bed occupancy is considered medium. Or if a bed occupancy is 15 and above that are related to COVID patients that are occupying that bed count, that is considered high. That is the concept behind this new measuring system that they're using. What's important for us here in the community is to look basically is what level your county is for where you live and reside in. That is easy. So if you see that it's low and it's green, it basically means that you're not required to wear a mask. Okay, so it's like the green light. Think of it as a traffic light. You're good to go. However, it's yellow. There's a little bit of a caution. It means that it's medium, which basically means that those who are vaccinated um, fully vaccinated, they are not required to wear a mask indoors. And those who are sick or maybe perhaps maybe immunocompromised or have underlying illnesses and so forth, it is advisory that you know you use a mask. Now, if it, your county is registered as an orange, which is high risk, 
you know, whether you're vaccinated or not, everyone is required to wear a mask. Also remember that whether you're low, medium, or high, that really applies to people who are fully vaccinated. Okay, and then basically that's how they will determine those numbers. Now, for those of you who are not vaccinated, we are asking you to continue to wear your mask indoors at all times out of mutual respect to protect yourself and to protect others because you are at high risk while others may be at high risk as well. But those who have been fully vaccinated are considered not at high risk. That is the concept behind this. Now, if you want to find out basically what your numbers are in terms of how they labeled your county, that information is accessible and I will show you how to get that information. Okay, so at this moment, I'm going to do a share screen with you so that you can see how we go about this. The first thing you do is you go to the CDC website and their website is www.cdc.gov. The link is below. Once you enter that homepage, you'll see COVID-19, you'll hit on the topic for COVID-19, and the second page is the COVID homepage. And then on the right-hand column of the COVID homepage, you will see a tab for community level. And then what is your community level? And then you will click onto that tab, and then it'll ask you two questions. One will say what state you are from. You will click that state, the state of Rhode Island. Then the next question will ask you, what county? And then you will pick one of the five counties in the state of Rhode Island that you live. For example, Providence. So if you live uh, in Bristol, then you would click on Bristol County and so forth. Okay, and then there's a green tab there that says to go to. Once that presents, it'll show you what your county is, low, medium, or high. The information is all calculated there for you. So for example, right now in the state of Rhode Island, are we considered low, medium, or high? Well, let's take a look at it. So if you look at the chart behind me, you will see that all the counties are, you know, okay, except for Bristol. Bristol is yellow, which is considered medium. So that means that people in Bristol are encouraged to wear a mask. Now, those who have been fully vaccinated and healthy should not, don't have to wear a mask. But to be on the safe side, you do want to wear a mask because you're indoors, such as department stores, grocery stores, mall, where you're gathering around a lot of people where there's a high congestion. You know, I myself would prefer to wear a mask. But if you're outdoors, you don't need to wear a mask. Okay, so this is good news. All right. Hopefully, we will use this system in place going forth. Now, the Rhode Island Department of Health, you know, is now working on developing this system because they haven't updated it since the announcement of March 4th, okay? So for now, you want to go to the CDC website until the Rhode Island Department of Health has their own website measuring system put in place. And that link will be updated on a weekly basis, usually on Thursday, which means that I will take that information, disseminate that information, and keep you informed on Fridays in the community to let you know what the counties are rated in Rhode Island, whether they're low, medium, or high. So you go on to the Rhode Island Department of Health, you will click on there and you will identify your county to find out what your status is. So now we're gonna to transition to a shared screen right now, and I would like to share my screen with you on the website and to learn how to navigate this. I hope that now clarifies things. It's a very simple concept and it's low, medium, or high. So for example, if you're going down to the, downtown to the government office and you see that it's low, medium, or high, you know how to proceed in terms of what the numbers are in that county of wherever you're visiting or going to. So it's not based on individuals any further. It's now based on county population. So if you need more clarification, feel free to contact me. I'll be more than happy to help you. My video phone number is 
5414. Or you can send me an email. My email address is as follows. Or if you prefer, you can call the Rhode Island Department of Health Information Line, the help desk. And their telephone number is 401-222-8022. Or you can go to the Rhode Island Department of Health website. Their website is as follows. Let us all help each other in keeping our counties low and to eradicate this pandemic. Thank you.